Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss about a largest group of fungi which is known as Ascomycota. So I will talk about the Ascomycota. So as an introduction, we are going to tell you that it is the largest group of fungi. Largest group of fungi and almost it contains 60,000 species. So when we talk about the number of species of this group, so we can write here 60,000. It is a very large number of species which is included in this group which is known as Ascomycota. So out of this 60,000 species, the 50% of this 60,000, 50% of this 60,000 species are living as lichens and mycorrhizal association. Living as lichens and mycorrhizal associations. Mycorrhizal association. So firstly we have to define that what is the difference between mycorrhizal as well as lichens association? In other words, we can say that what is a lichen or what is a mycorrhiza. So in the first, we will try to discuss about the lichens. What are the lichens? Actually, the lichen mean the symbiotic relationship of fungi with algae. When the fungi is related to the algae, are living combined to the algae so that's why it, it, this group is known as algae so lichens firstly lichens it is the association of fungi with algae with algae if the fungi is living with the algae or a combined state with the algae, so that's why it is known as lichens. So, in the second living style is the mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza or a mycorrhizal association. So, when we talk about the mycorrhizal association, then we can say that it is the symbiotic relationship of fungi symbiotic relationship of fungi with vascular plants or higher plants vascular plants when the fungi is living with vascular plants so such type of association is known as mycorrhizal association. So now we are going to discuss about the next point which is the cellular organization. So we can write here cellular organization. So when we talk about the cellular organization, so we can write here these are present in the form of unicellular fungi and they are also present in the form of multicellular. So both organizations are there present in the fungi. So we can write here, they are also present in unicellular organization, unicellular organization and these are also present in the multicellular organization. Multi cellular organization. So if you take the example of unicellular organization, the simplest example is the yeast. Yeast is the example of unicellular fungi. And the morals are the example of multicellular fungi. So in the next point, we are going to discuss about the reproduction. Reproduction. So both type of reproductions are there present in this type of fungi which belong to the Ascomycota that is the largest group of fungi. 
So both type of reproductions are there present. So first is the sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction. And the second is asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction. So both reproductions takes place in this group of fungi which is known as Ascomycota. So firstly we will try to discuss how the sexual reproduction will take place in the Ascomycota. Actually it is due to Ascospore formation. Sexual reproduction is due to Ascospores formation. Actually the Ascospores are the structures which are involved in the sexual reproduction. So how these ascospores look like? Actually these are the ascospores and these ascospores are involved in the sexual reproduction. These ascospores are involved in the sexual reproduction. So we can label it these spores and these spores are known as Ascospores. So we can write here. These are ascospores. Actually, these are ascospores. When we talk about these ascospores, actually these ascospores are produced in a tube-like structure like this. For example, this one is a tube-like structure. Inside this tube-like structure, these ascospores are produced like this. These are ascospores. Inside this structure, these are the ascospores. We can write here ascospores. But the structure in which these spores are produced, this structure is known as ascus. Ascus. So we can say that ascospores are involved in the sexual reproduction and these ascospores are produced in a structure which is known as ascus. Actually more number of ascus or SI are produced in another structure and how these are produced in another structure and what is the name of that structure. So we can write here this one is another structure in which these SI are produced and this structure is known as ascocarp ascocarp actually so this is ascocarp and inside the ascocarp these tube like structure are produced and these tube like structure are known as ascus Asker is actually a singular. When we talk about the plural, then we can say that SI. So these SI are produced inside this structure, and these are actually SI these are actually SI. So we can write here this one is ascocar. Ascocarp. Ascocarp is a structure. A inside the ascocarp, these SI are produced. These are known as SI. Sorry. SI. Inside these SI, which are tube like structure, these suppose are produced. And these spores are known as ascospores. These spores are known as ascospores. These ascospores are produced in these tube-like structures, and these tube-like structures are known as SI. Singular is known as ascus and the whole structure in which these SI are producing, this is known as ascocarp. But keep in mind, the hyphae which, at which, the hyphae, 
at the, this ascocarp is producing that is binucleated or a dikaryotic dikaryotic mean having two nuclei so each septum so firstly these are the septate hyphae inside the septate hyphae two nuclei are present so that's why we can write here this hyphae is a dikaryotic hyphae dikaryotic hyphae so it is all about the sexual reproduction so when we talk about the sexual reproduction we can say that the hyphae are dikaryotic and the dikaryotic phase is a long phase dikaryotic hyphae actually make a structure this whole structure is known as ascocarp inside the ascocarp these tube like structures are produced and these tube like structures are known as SI and singular is known as ascus ascus and inside the each ascus these spores are produced and these spores are known as ascospores these are known as ascospores and these ascospores are involved in the sexual reproduction so we can write here these are ascospores so now we are going to discuss how the asexual reproduction take place in the ascomycota it is the largest group of fungi so now we are going to discuss about the asexual reproduction so actually asexual reproduction take place by conidia formation it is due to conidia formation so asexual reproduction in the ascomycota is with the help of conidia formation and all the hyphae in the ascomycota are septate so what means septate septate hyphae septate hyphae and inside this the long phase is a dikaryotic phase it means each septa contain two nuclei so when the septa contain two nuclei so we can say that it is a dikaryotic phase and actually this dikaryotic phase is the is responsible for the formation of ascocarp ascocarps are involved in the formation of si or a ascus and ascus are responsible for the formation of these ascospores which are involved in the sexual reproduction but asexual reproduction takes place by the conidia formation actually these are the spores which are involved in the asexual reproduction in the ascomycota so it was all about as an introduction of ascomycota